Welcome everyone. Are you ready for church? Me too. What an exciting month this has been. One of my favorite parts of the month of December is the Christmas cookies. So many different kinds, so many different shapes and colors. Look, I brought a whole plate of cookies to church with me today. They're so yummy, I didn't want to wait to eat more when I got home. Oh, hey friends, here's my friend Rich. Oh, hey, hey guys. Rich. And uh, hey, April, I see that you brought some cookies with you. Are, are these like to share? Are these for something special? Um, could I have one? Um, um, well, uh, I can share them because I, I know we're supposed to share. Yes, awesome, awesome, because I just made some coffee and cookies and coffee are just so good together. So I think I would just love to take this. Well, wait a minute. Wait, I, I, I wanted that one. Okay, uh, that's okay. Uh, I don't have to have a green one. It just looks really good. What if I have, what if I have this one right here? Well, well that one has, it has extra sprinkles on it. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted that one. Okay, what if I just take this one? Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and thank you very much, April. See you later, boys and girls. Okay, friends. I am gonna go make some coffee so that I can eat all my cookies before anyone else comes along. Hey, while I'm making coffee, let's watch our Bible story and see what it's all about. Stories of the Bible. Jesus, the Son. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room in the inn for him. After Jesus was born, his mother, Mary, Hi. and her husband, Joseph, hey took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. There was a man named Simeon who loved God. God has told Simeon that he would meet the Savior before he died. When Mary and Joseph arrived at the temple, Simeon was there. When Simeon saw Jesus, he took him in his arms and blessed him. He knew that this was the promised child who would save them all. Mary and Joseph were amazed at his words. There was also a woman named Anna in the temple. When she saw the baby that Simeon was holding and heard all that he had said, she gave thanks to God and told everyone that the Savior had come. When everything had been done as God commanded, Mary and Joseph went home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up. He became strong and filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for a festival. When Jesus was 12, come on, they went just like every other year. But when the festival was over and Mary and Joseph were traveling back home, they realized that Jesus was not with them. Uh -oh. Come on. So they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. This, oh, his name is Jesus. I haven't seen him. They searched everywhere. Jesus. Not Jesus. 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 And after three days, they found him in the temple. Jesus was sitting among the religious teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Hey, Mom. When Mary and Joseph found him, they said, Why have you done this? We've been searching for you everywhere. But Jesus said, Why did you look for me? Didn't you know I would be here in my father's house? Huh? But his parents didn't understand what he meant. So Jesus left with them, See you later. Bye, Jesus. And came back to Nazareth, where he obeyed them. Hey. Here you go. And he continued to grow in wisdom and favor with God and man. 
I love learning about Jesus. And we've learned so much about Jesus and when he was born. Jesus came as a gift from God to us. And so many glorious things happen and miraculous things happen when Jesus came to earth. You know, angels talk to shepherds. Shepherds got to hear the angels praising and worshiping God. And the wise men, they followed a star to find him. Today, we're gonna see about Simeon and Anna, how they held Jesus and blessed him, how they spoke good things over baby Jesus, and how they knew who he was and who he was to be on this earth. Wow. God loved us so much that he sent Jesus as a gift to us. In fact, our memory verse today, John 3:16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know what I realized? You know, Miss April didn't really want to share her Christmas cookies with Rich, but God shared Jesus with us and he didn't try to keep Jesus all to himself. Our memory verse says that he gave his one and only son. You know what? You know what Miss April could have done? I'll tell you what. When we think about something and we're trying to figure something out, worship is a really good place to start. Let's get ourselves quiet and let's worship together. And God will help our hearts get in the right place. Let's go to worship now. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us today. Why don't you go ahead and stand up on your feet? I have some friends that are gonna help us out. Let's get ready to sing, come on, let's have some fun. Come on, we sing. Have you heard of the one called Savior? Have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. And I believe in the sun. Show me your way. Jesus, you were my best friend. You will always be. Nothing will ever change that. Jesus, you were my best friend. You will always be. Nothing will Sing, I believe. I believe in the one called Savior. I believe he's the risen one. I believe that I'll live forever. I believe that the King will come. Cause I have found this love. And I believe in the Son. Show me your way. Hey, Jesus, you are my best friend. And you will always be. And nothing will Nothing will ever change that, Jesus, you are my best friend. And you will always be. Nothing will ever change that. Nothing will ever change that. Come on, he's our best friend. Let's sing, Jesus. Jesus, you are my best friend. And you will always be. Nothing will
right, guys, as we continue to worship, let's focus on Jesus. Close our eyes and sing this together. your son Jesus and for the power that's in his name we thank you that we find healing and love and joy and peace in the name of Jesus we thank you for all that you are thank you for being with us today we love you Lord and in Jesus name we pray amen welcome back friends guess what I still have my whole plate of cookies and I'm gonna see who I can find to share them with. 
Our Bible story today reminded me that God shared Jesus with us because He loves us so much. And I know He would want me to love others like that and share too. Let's say our memory verse one more time. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent Jesus because He loves us and wants us to live with Him forever. And there is something very important that each of us must do. We have to ask Jesus to come into our hearts and live with us forever. Sin and bad choices can keep us away from God, but when we pray this special prayer and ask Jesus to live with us forever, nothing can keep us away from the love of God. If you're ready, say this with your family. Father God, I believe that Jesus died to forgive me for my sins and wrong choices. I believe that Jesus rose from the dead and lives in heaven. I ask Jesus to come into my heart and live with me forever. Today I say that Jesus is my Lord. Wow, friends, if you chose to pray that prayer today, ask your family to share that news with us. We want to celebrate with you. Dads and moms, I can't think of a better gift you can give your children than having this conversation with them and praying this prayer with them when the time is right. Having the opportunity to say this prayer is what Christmas is all about. Thank you so much for having church with us today and we'll see you soon.